So. Hey guys, Brian Carp, sales giant, literary millionaire, mailbox money. On this video, I'm gonna give every single home seller, right, home investor and real estate agent one of the secrets that I use when I am comping houses and I'm helping them sell for top dollar. So guys, I'm Brian Carp. I am the sales giant. I'm the number one real estate agent in all of Long Island. I'm the highest reviewed agent in all of Long Island. And what happens a lot of times is real estate agents and even home sellers, right? When they're coming up with the valuation of their property, they're going back in time, which you're supposed to do, and they look at comps or comparables, right? So what basically the way that works, and this is the way that I definitely appraise real estate, but I'm gonna give you guys a secret little sauce or the secret little tip that's gonna set you up even better if you're a real estate agent, and if you're a home seller, it's really going to help you maximize every dollar. If you guys like this video, subscribe, leave a comment, right? Hit the thumbs up. Most important, the way to grow this channel for me, guys, is share this with somebody, right? Share this so I can continue to do more content for you guys. So let's talk about it. When you're evaluating real estate, what I always tell every real estate agent and I tell every home seller, right, is what we do is you put a pin on your house. You draw a circle straight around it and you scoop up everything in a four to eight block radius. The reason you do a four to eight block radius is you wanna live within, I always say the slang word hood. The slang word hood stands for neighborhood guys, right? Live in that four to eight block radius because sometimes if you go, it could be the same town, the same school district, but if you go a mile this direction, it's totally different, right? So I always say to live in a four to eight block radius. Then what you wanna do is take a clock and set it back. Set it back six months to a year. You never, ever, ever, ever wanna go back more than a year. And honestly, in this new crazy COVID market, you really kinda of wanna live in like three months because the interest rates are rising so much that it's changing the market. And that can be a whole separate video if you guys are interested. But really, I have a lot to say. So what we do, pin, circle, scoop up the houses, right? Set the clock back six months. Okay, from there. What I basically do, it's like making a stew, okay? And I'm a food nut, right? When I make a stew, I chop up carrots, I dice up tomatoes, I put different ingredients in the stew, right? Now, what are the ingredients for your house? Number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, right? Okay, and square footage and amenities, and it's a sliding scale back and forth. So what we do is we look at homes that are worse, homes that are better, and we go like this. Find out where you guys sit. That is the way you appraise real estate, okay? And that's what a lot of home sellers do. They look at their neighbor's house and a few other people's houses and they compare it to that, right? Now, the secret trick that the sales giant does is twofold. Fold number one is you wanna look at what's pending. What was that? Pending, right? Pending means a home that's in contract. That is actually the best data possible because it's in real time. It's probably something that had an offer accepted and within the last week or two, it went into contract. That's really gonna show you what's happening in real time because remember, the comps are old, right? And let's say you're looking at a comp that was nine months ago and the interest rate was 4% and today it's 7%, right? Whole different ball game. So I like to look at the pendings. And then here is the final, final secret, and I'm giving it to you guys because you made it to the end of the video, is I look at the competition. Yeah, that's right. I look at what else is in your six to eight block radius around your house. That really, really lets me know. And the analogy that I give is someone's gonna live in that area, right? Most people shop this way, is they decided on a certain town, a certain school district, and a certain little like hood, right? And if there is nothing on the market in that little area, well, that means that you can come out to the market priced more aggressively. But if there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten homes right in that area, and they're all kind of priced lower than where you're gonna go, well, you're gonna have to be relatively close to them so people will walk in your front door and take a look at you. Okay, so guys, to recap this, the two secrets that I gave you is number one, look at the pendings if you're a home seller. You're gonna need a real estate agent, right, or a broker um, like myself to be able to do that. Um, also, what you guys should do is look at the competition, right? So real estate agents, guys, when you're going to meet with home sellers and you're trying to help them come up with a valuation, look at 
the competition and the pendings. And yes, we always look at the comps when sold, but I like to say it's old news, okay? So I'm Brian Carp, I'm a sales giant. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And comment if you guys have any videos you want me to make. We try to turn these things around for you guys immediately.